had to have um, more boxes. I've gotten so many presents. And what's the, uh, what's the highlight of your stay here in the Soviet Union? Um, going somewhere in the Black Sea in Artec. Uh -huh. Tell me a little bit more details about your um, stay in Artec. How many friends have you uh, got there? Tell me a little bit about your friends, Soviet friends, please. Uh, well, in our tech, we sang songs and danced, and they had terrific food there, nice houses to sleep in. The sea is great, uh, and the kids are really nice. I wish I could go there for full time. Samantha, and what would you tell your friends, your American friends, after you come home? <laughs> I don't know. It's that Soviet people are really nice people. They're just almost just like Americans. And now, what do you know now? Do the Russians want the war? No. <laughs> no. And now, will you please, uh, Tom Sawyer, ask you the question? Samantha, I played Tom Sawyer in, in the Soviet film Tom Sawyer. I make, I, up, I, may I ask a, a question? Would you play the role of Becky Teacher? in the German Soviet and American production Phil. yeah of uh, Thompson maybe <laughs> maybe 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 uh, they've never done maybe. anything like that before yeah. Samantha, would you like to come back next year here i'd love it <laughs> And I tried. Your program was very tough. Not tired now, but at times I'd get tired. And uh, may we ask the question uh, the father? No? Uh, Mrs. Smith. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> Mrs. Smith, maybe you uh, sum up your reason <coughs> here. How would you sum up your stay here? You spent here two weeks, and what are the outcome your of your stay here? It's been a wonderful trip. We've been treated just as kindly as possible. Uh, we've met only the nicest people here, uh, all of whom want peace in the world and are working and thinking about peace. And uh, it's been a very good experience for us. And from what, your point of view, what was the best days uh, here? <laughs> among these two weeks? That's very hard to say. I think, I think that's probably an unfair question, but it, swimming in the Black Sea and at Artec was uh, one kind of fun and pleasure. Certainly seeing the uh, important monuments uh, of the country was another kind of interest. And the uh, art of the hermitage, although it was brief, was very good. And the nice cities of Leningrad and Moscow were both interesting. Samantha, and do you remember the names of your Russian friends? Um, Sveta, Natasha, Big Natasha. Big Natasha. <laughs> um, no, no boys, boys' names. Um, there's one. I can't. I can't remember his name. Oh. A lot, a lot of friends. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and. I go to exchange. Samantha, that is, excuse me. Were, yes. you, were you disappointed that you weren't able to meet with Yuri Andropov? No. I mean, as long as he sent his deputy over to our hotel, that's good enough. What if you had met with him? What were you going to tell him? I don't know. I probably wouldn't be able to say anything. But Samantha, do you, did you get a new idea to stop? Um, 
Dipka? Hmm? New idea to stop the arms race with this. Big... Oh, no new idea, but the same idea. And Samantha, are you going to uh, exchange letters with your solid friends? I hope so. I hope to. And uh, have you learned some new Russian words uh, being here? You, yes, so, you know, many. two, if I'm not mistaken. Thank you and good. Uh, hello, yes. And now, how many words do you know? 23. 23? <laughs> Will you say some? Some, yeah, I can't remember all of them. But, Just um, one, two. Dasidania, Dobro Utra, Dobro Vecha, Dachnet. And are you going to study Russian when you come back to the United States? Yeah. Well, when I get into seventh grade, we can't study. In our school, we can't study Russian, I mean, foreign languages until we get into the seventh grade. Samantha, when you met with the minister yesterday, was there any message from Mr. Andropov? Yes, he said that he was sorry that he couldn't meet with me, and he was just too busy, and he wishes me um, hope for no war and good health. Did he pass on any message to any of the officials in the United States, for chance? No. Did you get anything in writing from Andropov, or uh, was that just verbal? Did you get any written message? Oh, um, not really, except on one of the presents, he put his card. Dad's been collecting everybody's cards, and so he, somehow that probably got to him, and he gave Dad his card, too. May I ask Mrs. Uh, you saw uh, the Soviet people for the first time, if I'm not mistaken. You've met, uh, you have not met with the Soviet people in the United States. And how can you characterize the Soviet people uh, after your stay here? Just your personal impressions. Your say about us as about people. Very, very warm people and friendly, uh, kind, uh, very much like uh, Americans in many ways wanting peace, preferring to work at their jobs instead of working at uh, war. And do you think that you may communicate with, with each other? Oh, I think so, yes. Mrs. Smith, was it your impression that you probably would see President Andropov? Did you think you were going to? We really didn't know. No. Were you disappointed? Well, certainly it would have been uh, an honor and to have met him, but uh, I think it's not surprising, and we were honored as well to have met uh, <coughs> Mr. Zemiat. And in what, way are, in what way are you going to tell the American audience about your stay uh, here, about the visit Samantha to the Soviet Union? Are you going to write book to make the film, maybe? I don't know exactly, certainly. That's why I ask you. Well, it's, ex it's hard to tell exactly how this will work out, but uh, we certainly plan to tell the Americans that uh, the Soviets are kind, warm people, and that. Uh, they too want peace, and uh, we need to talk more and become more better acquainted with each other as people. So I think. Sam, what are some of the first things you're going to do when you go home? When I get home, if Lynn doesn't meet me at the airport, I'm going to go home, pick up the phone, and say, Lynn, do you want to come over to my house and play? Samantha, <laughs> please tell me, do you like animals? Yeah. Thank you. Samantha, when you uh, wrote your letter to Mr. Andropov, you implied that you thought that the Russians might want to make war. Now you say that you're sure they don't. Do you think that Americans have a wrong idea about the Soviet Union? Some of them do. Um, but the people that have been to the Soviet Union have a definite answer of um, not them not wanting war at all and wanting peace, just like I do. Why do you think some people have the wrong impression? Well, for one thing, they probably never met a Soviet person and have, those people have never been to Russia. So if they say, like, we are wrong, they can't, it's not fair to say that because they've never been to Russia to find out. Where did you get your ideas from originally when you thought they wanted to make 
<laughs> I don't know. <laughs> they just popped into my head, I guess. Mrs. Smith, would you like to answer the same question? Do you think Americans have a misconception about the surgical? Well, I guess that's a hard question, isn't it? Uh, I think. I think some do, although I'm sure many Americans realize that both peoples want peace. It's the technical details and the uh, arms race that is the problem. I'm afraid the leaders of both countries have the difficult part to work out. The difficult negotiations. so many attention look how many people from press here. And is it difficult to be in the center of such attention? Well, when you're, try when you're just sitting here, it's not difficult. But when you're trying to go somewhere, like, was it Mont Boston? Montreal. Montreal was the worst. Every, um, we had policemen that were surrounding us. And the photographers just, just they just crashed <laughs> right through them. And, I ended up biting one of the microphones. <laughs> <laughs> it's not over yet for you either being the center of attention. Um, you have other things planned, like television? Um, well, Mom keeps saying, well, before we went on our trip, Fantasy wanted me to come back after our trip. And Mom thinks that probably a John Carson show will want me again everything. If we do we'll go back to California, I hope I can bring Lynn again. Well, actually, they're all the same. Really. I haven't learned any new ones that I don't that I haven't heard of. What were the gifts from uh, the person that broke off from the Boston? Um, we got a what's it called? A teapot. A bit great big Santa box. A big teapot. Um, I got a really nice box, handmade, and it's newly painted. You open the box, you can smell the paint. Um, I got a book, photo, yeah, two photo albums. And Samantha, you, I'm sure you've got a lot of uh, gifts really here. <laughs> and what is the best one? The two photo albums. That way I can remember all what I've been doing. Do you find when you look at the photos, you can't remember some of the things that happen so much of <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Sam. 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 Sam.